welcome in this video i will be showing you how to create interactive or dynamic charts using slicers when we are presenting data in charts it is always comes to our mind how this chart will look for this particular region or for that particular period or for that particular division or etc in short we are trying to perform what if analysis using charts but it so happens that people feel it is always time consuming and they have to take extra efforts to create those charts all over creating interactive charts and dashboard is in excel is really easy trust me when i am making that statement there are multiple ways through which you can have interactive charts or dashboards in excel till now people were using form controls in excel 2007 or earlier legacy version to create those interactive charts or dashboards but now starting excel 2010 you have got slicers in pivot tables which can be used to create interactive or dynamic charts or dashboards once you have understood the approach you may think that way why you have not used this approach earlier so let's get started first step in creating any charts or dashboard is to have an aggregated summary of values by various dimensions by which you want to create charts this aggregated summary can be created using various aggregation formulas or pivot tables i won't explain you those aggregation methods in this video for this video i am assuming you already have an aggregated summary of monthly sales by four different regions like this so this is kind of a dummy data which i have already created up so you have regions on rows and different months on the columns now after you have some blank this summary i have just created few more blank rows over here and some formatting which i have already done so this is just an additional column copy paste i have done over here and this is one blank row over here so this you will have to do it once you have the summary now as a next step you have to create a pivot table just by selecting this region column so select that region column go to insert create pivot tables and now under this you select existing worksheet select a location over here and insert a pivot table click okay immediately you can see some of the pivot table cells are not visible but don't worry about it we don't require those so just drag and drop this regions under rows area so you have this table pivot tables created now let's go to the pivot table design and turn off the grand totals and the report table in tabular format so you have this pivot table created now go to this blank cell over here just below the region and link this cell to the first cell in the pivot table and you will get this east over here now in the rest of the cells over here we will be just using the vlookup formula and as you recall for vlookup formula in the third argument we need to give the column number so for that purpose as of now i am just entering this two over here and we'll drag so that i have all the column numbers reflected over here which i can link in my vlookup formula so let's start typing vlookup this cells i am locking by pressing f4 now select this entire region press f4 lock that now third argument select this row which gives the column reference which is the second column over here comma 0 bracket close enter control c and paste this formula across now instead of having this number in exactly displayed in the same way in the charts we'll convert this into a different format with the help of the custom option so as of now accounting is selected i will go to the customs and i will remove this after this i will just insert this k same way over here as well you can insert it just delete this hash mark and a zero and your sample number will be displayed over here i think the space is not required so let's let us delete the space and now click okay so immediately you can see your numbers are getting displayed in thousands now we have to just create a chart out of this so let's select this and press alt f11 and immediately a bar chart will be created so i have this blank region over here 
created already so i will just drag this chart over here resize a little bit and we'll change the formatting so i will select this and immediately you can see this chart has got the details from this sales now we have to create a interactive using slicer so click any of the cell in this pivot table region immediately you will see this pivot table analyze and design tab are activated go to analyze and click insert slicers click this and click ok immediately you can see the slicers are populated so let us resize a little bit we'll increase the columns over here for slicers right click this slicers display header we don't want that so let us resize it and now drag over here let us resize a little more so that it looks nice let us resize the charts as well so now immediately you can see the slicers is inserted over here and when i click east only the east data is reflected when i click north immediately the north data is selected even for the south as well as for the west now we want this heading for the charts also interactive based on our slicer selections so for that we have to link to a particular cell in this cell heading i will just start typing cells for the region space blank and and we will click to this particular cell just below the region and press enter and you will see this cell is will reflect based on our slicer selection now even for this heading you can just click that chart title click is equal to in the formula bar and link to this particular cell and you will see that our chart heading is also now interactive based on our slicer selection so you click this east region immediately will have this chart even for north region even for south and even for west now you can see how easy it was to create this interactive charts there are multiple different options which you can use this technique and have more interactive charts in your display that's it like from my side thanks a lot for watching please subscribe if you like the video bye see you next time